friends good morning welcome to my channel balu master today i am going to discuss target comet k 2020 part so today i am going to discuss friends in differential calculus differentiation chapter friends why i am going to select this chapter means uh, from this chapter means from this differentiation chapter they are going to ask minimum 3 questions every year friends that's what that is the most most important chapter that's what i am going to choose the chapter today so differentiation is today's topic friends that's what let us start our session friends coming to here first question if y is equals to 2 to the power of log x then dy by dx is equals to dash the followed by options very very simple area question friends y is equals to 2 power log x means you are going to write to differentiate with respect to x differentiation with respect to x means dy by dx you want so dy by dx is equals to derivative of 2 power log x d by dx of 2 power log x let it be call log x is nothing but some x then 2 power x is nothing but 2 power x into log 2 function of function d by dx of uh, log x friends why because what is the formula friends since uh, d by dx of a power x is equals to a power x into log a because of this formula you are going to get like this then this is nothing but log x derivative is 1 by x that's what 2 power log x into log 2 whole by x because log x derivative to 1 by x so this is your answer friends so third option is correct answer Coming to next question, if secant inverse of one plus x by one minus x y is equals to alpha, then what about d by d x? So whenever this kind of questions we have, don't apply direct differentiation, friends. Why? Because secant inverse x derivative one by mod x into root over x square minus one, it is complicated. That's what, friends. Just secant inverse send that side, it will become secant alpha. Or else both sides apply secant. Then you are going to get one plus x by one minus y is equals to secant alpha. So what happened, friends? This is equals to one plus x by one minus y is equals to secant alpha. So then differentiate with respect to x. Then the problem will get it very easily. So it is of the form u by v. Whenever you are applying differentiation, u by v means the formula is nothing but d by dx of u by v is equals to the formula is v d u by dx minus u d v by dx by v square. So that's what uh, denominator v into one minus x into du by dx. So derivative of one plus x, one derivative zero x derivative one minus u into means one plus x into derivative of v. That is what one derivative zero minus y derivative minus dy by dx whole by v square one minus y whole square. Coming to right hand side, what happened? If you apply derivative of secant alpha. Secant x derivative of secant x tan x. Secant alpha derivative of secant alpha tan alpha. Friends, that only wrong. Friends, this is nothing but alpha. Alpha means constant. Whenever alpha is constant, of course, secant alpha also constant. Whenever that is a constant, a differentiation of the constant is nothing but uh, zero. Why? Because uh, differentiation of constant uh, always zero. That's what this becomes zero. So one minus y whole square. Keep that side. You are going to get one minus y is equals to this one. Keep left hand side zero. It is negative part. Keep that side. That is what uh, one plus x into. Of course, minus is there. Minus dy by dx. Now you want just dy by dx. Uh, dy by dx is equals to you are getting one minus y by minus of one plus x. Uh, that is what you are going to write. If you take minus common and cancel, you are getting. Y minus one by x plus one. This is your answer, friends. Which option is correct, friends? Option two is correct answer. Coming to third question, friends. Y is equals to cos square three x by two minus sine square three x by two. Then dy by dx. They are asking. So why just you simplify before you are applying differentiation? So the formula is very clear, friends. Cos square theta minus sine square theta. According to trigonometry formulas, this result is nothing but cos two theta. That's what cos square x by two minus sine square x by two nothing but uh, cos two into theta is what here three x by two. Then this will be two and two get cancelled. Y is equals to cos three x. Now differentiate with respect to x. You are getting very simply dy by dx is equals to cos x derivative. Cos x derivative minus sine three x. Function of function three. That's what this is. 
minus 3 sin 3x. Friends, very clearly, if you observe the options, no option given in terms of x, but all options given in terms of y, that's what you should convert into in terms of y. So that's what, what you are going to do. According to trigonometric identities, sin square theta plus cos square theta is equals to 1. That's what sin square theta is equals to 1 minus cos square theta. And hence sin theta is equals to square root of 1 minus cos square theta. So sin 3x can be written as root over 1 minus cos square 3x. That's what minus 3 into root over 1 minus cos square 3x. That equals to minus 3 into root over 1 minus cos 3x is nothing but what friends? Y. So that's what this is y square. That's what your answer is minus 3 into root over 1 minus y square. Second option is correct answer friends. Coming to next question friends, if x is equals to 4 cos 40 plus b sin 40 then what about d square x by dp square? Just they are asking double derivative. So what is the first order derivative means dx by dt is equals to 4 into cos x derivative minus sin x minus sin 40 function of function 40 derivative 4. Next coming to next plus b into sin x derivative cos x 40 into 4. This is first time derivative friends. Coming to again apply differentiation with respect to x. Again if you apply differentiation d square x by dt square is equals to minus 4 square into sin t derivative cos 40 into 4 plus b into cos x derivative minus sin x that's what this plus becomes minus uh, sin 40 into 4 Already one 4 is there, 4 to derivative is 4, that's what this is 4 square. Now from here, 4 square is common, along with negative sign also common, you are going to get 4 square common means 4 cos 40, minus common means plus b sin 40 because 4 square already in common. That is what you are going to write, minus 16, 4 cos 40 plus b sin 40 is nothing but x. That's what the result is, minus 16x. So first option is correct answer friends. Now coming to next question friends, if x power x is equals to y power y then dy by dx is equals to dash. Friends, very very simple logic here. Whenever function power function, this is also function, even this also function. Whenever function power function, whether it is same function or different function, function power function is there means only one logic that is what? Uh, taking logarithms on both sides. That is only simplest logic friends. Now if you take logarithms on both sides, you will get it log x power x is equals to log y power y. I've, of course you know the formula for logarithm log x power n is equals to n log x. According to this formula, you will get it x log x is equals to y log y. Then apply differentiate with respect to x. Then if you apply differentiation with respect to x, you are going to apply uv, u into derivative of v plus v into derivative of u. I hope you know the formula for d by dx of uv. That is what u into dv by dx plus v into du by dx. Then this is what u into log x derivative 1 by x plus log x into x derivative is 1. That is equals to y into log y derivative 1 by y into dy by dx plus log y into y derivative is dy by dx. I think you understood this point because d by dx of log x means 1 by x the formula but d by dx of log y means you are going to write 1 by y with respect to y with respect to x you are doing that y that's what d y by dx you will get it friends so that's what uh, that is the difference between d by dx of log x and d by dx of log y now x x get cancelled here y y get cancelled so that's what after cancellation you are getting 1 plus log x is equals to now take d y by dx as common you are getting 1 plus log y therefore which implies d y by dx is equals to 1 plus log x by 1 plus log y that is your answer 
option 3 is the correct answer friends coming to next question friends the differential coefficient of f of sin x with respect to x where f of x is equals to log x f of x equal log x means f dash of x differentiation of f dash of x equal log log x derivative is 1 by x so 1 by x option also given friends don't tick 1 by x as the correct answer they are asking means the differential coefficient of f of sin x so instead of x take sin x that that's what f of sin x is equals to f of x log x means f of sin x instead of x sin x is there means just you write down instead of x sin x finish the sum friends differentiate with respect to x then f dash of x is equals to okay so what happened log x derivative 1 by x and function of function sin x derivative is cos x then cos x by sin x is nothing but cot x cot x is the correct answer friends the second option is correct answer coming to question number seven friends y is equals to tan inverse of secant x minus tan x then dy by dx so whenever this kind of questions are there don't apply direct derivative y because tan inverse x derivative 1 by 1 plus x square and function of functions very complicated that's what let us simplify and apply differ differentiation y is equals to tan inverse of the simplification is secant x is nothing but 1 by cos x tan x can be written as sin x by cos x 1 by cos x sin by cos that's what cos x has lcm 1 minus sin x this is equals to tan inverse of so denominator can be written as cos x can be written as cos square x by 2 minus sin square x by 2 whereas numerator 1 can be written as cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 according to trigonometric identity then sin x can be written as 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 so what happened cos square x by 2 plus sin square x by 2 minus 2 sin x by 2 cos x by 2 is nothing but uh, a square plus b square minus 2 ab formation that is what uh, a minus b whole square so if you observe in the denominator it is of the form a square minus b square that is what a plus b into a minus b so this can be written as cos x by 2 plus sin x by 2 into cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 then what happened 1 cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 will be cancelled with this then the coming value will become tan inverse of cos x by 2 minus sin x by 2 remaining part and after cancellation this one this part will be there so just to take in the numerator and denominator cos x by 2 as common so if you take cos x by 2 as common you are getting 1 minus sin by cos x by 2 tan x by 2 whole by cos x by 2 again if you take common 1 plus tan x by 2 then what happened friends here cos x by 2 get cancelled 1 minus tan theta by 1 plus tan theta is nothing but uh, tan pi by 4 minus theta theta is what x by 2 so tan inverse of tan theta is nothing but pi by 4 minus x by 2 this is what the value is y now apply differentiation for this question friends it is very very easy differentiate with respect to x dy by dx is equals to pi by 4 derivative 0 minus 1 by 2 into x derivative is 1 that's what the answer is minus 1 by 2 minus 1 by 2 is the correct answer friends so fourth option is correct answer coming to question number 8 friends x is equals to a into t minus 1 by t given y is equals to a into t plus 1 by t given separate functions given this kind of functions we are going to call as parametric functions you should apply separate separate derivative so dx by dt is equals to a into t derivative 1 1 by t derivative minus 1 by t square so minus of minus becomes plus coming to here dy by dt is equals to the same thing a into t derivative 1 1 by t derivative minus 1 by t square then you want dy by dx you want means just you have to do dy by dt by dx by dt that is what dy by dt means a into if you take simplification t square minus 1 by t square whole by a into t square plus 1 by t square that's what a a get cancelled t square t square also get cancelled you are getting t square minus 1 by t square plus 1 but option not given in terms of t using these relations uh, you have to convert this part into in terms of x and y so if you take x is equals to a into t minus 1 by t x is equals to a into t minus 1 by t take lcm x is equals to a into t square minus 1 by t from this t square minus 
one nothing but uh, you are going to get xt by a xt by a friends similarly if you write this one yt by a so that's what t square minus 1 means xt by a similarly t square plus 1 means yt by a a a get cancelled tt get cancelled you are getting the answer as x by y x by y is correct answer friends coming to next question friends uh, y is equals to 1 plus 1 by x plus 1 by x square plus 1 by x cube plus so on plus infinite series this is uh, and mod x is greater than 1 is the condition then dy by dx is dash they are asking friends very very simple friends i hope you understood uh, this is nothing but a gp geometric progression geometric progression s infinite formula is nothing but s infinite is equals to a by 1 minus r that is the formula for uh, s infinity in gp so that's what very easy friends y is equals to you are going to write a by 1 minus r means a is nothing but first term r is nothing but common ratio first term is nothing but 1 given 1 by 1 minus common ratio t2 by t1 1 by x by 1 that is what 1 by x now it is very very simplest form take lcm x minus 1 by x that's what x by x minus 1 just they are asking differentiation friends differentiate with respect to x dy by dx is equals to you have to apply the formation is u by v just now i discussed the formula of u by v v derivative of u minus u derivative of v by v square that's what x minus 1 into x derivative 1 minus x into x minus 1 derivative 1 by v square x minus 1 whole square that is nothing but x minus 1 minus x by x minus 1 whole square x x get cancel you are going to get minus 1 by x minus 1 whole square of course the options not given in terms of x alone it is given with respect to x and y so still simplification is there that's what minus 1 by still by using this relation only you have to convert it in terms of y y is equals to x by x minus 1 from this data x minus one can be written as x by y so that's what x minus 1 can be written as x by y whole square that is what if you take ulta minus y square by x square that's what your answer friends minus y square by x square means the so first option is correct answer friends <clears throat> still few more examples are there friends in the next session i'll discuss the remaining examples uh, so that is also most most important all these are previous comet k entrance examination questions only so that's what be prepared properly and be confident and prepare friends each and every question you practice properly definitely every year they're asking the similar models only please observe that one according to that you plan it and prepare it so in the next session in part 7 i'll discuss the continuation of differentiation friends that's all for today's class friends thank you very much friends thanks a lot